WHCC's Burning Questions. Oh, hey. I didn't see you. I'm Robert. And I'm just sitting in my favorite easy chair in my house in front of my real fireplace burning real wood. And that reminds me of my favorite topic, burning questions. Why don't we just have a fireside chat burning question session right here and right now? And if you have burning questions, we want to hear from you. You have a question, just drop it into the comments of this video. Or you can message us on Instagram at WHCCPro. Also check out our YouTube channel. It's called White House Custom Color. That's also the name of the company. Why don't we jump right in to our burning questions, shall we? The first one comes to us from Jane R. And she is in Austin, Texas. And she says, hi, Robert. I really love the acrylic blocks. Can I hang those on the wall? Well, that's a great question. Let's get to that. Hey, robot, please turn up the lights. I call it robot, but I still say please. All right, there are two siblings in the acrylic family. There are acrylic prints and acrylic blocks that you mentioned, Jane. So let's take a look at both. We will start with, I think I've got, oh, just one right here. Here's an acrylic print. Now that is going to start out with a one quarter inch acrylic panel. Behind that is going to be a glossy or a metallic print. That will be followed by black styrene. Now you can get it just like this if you want, but you can also get hanging apparatuses for it as well. One might magically fly into me. I'm not 100% sure, but I have my clapper on and let's see what goes. Oh, thanks hand. Let's start with this one right here. Now we have our acrylic print. On the back we have what we call a float mount. It is three quarters of an inch gator board backing. That is smaller than the product, so it looks like it floats off of the wall. Isn't that nice? Now, attached to that is gonna be our brushed aluminum hanging uh, apparatus here, which is going to have the sawtooth hanger cut right out of it. So that is the float mount. The other uh, hanging apparatus we have, thank you, hand, is going to be our inset metal frame. Now these are exactly the same uh, hanging hardware that we have for our metal prints. Now the inset metal frame, we're gonna have our, our acrylic print and styrene, and on the back of that, just like it sounds, inset metal frame. Now this one is going to be an inch and five sixteenths deep and that is in contrast to the three quarter inch gator board. So it's gonna stick out from the wall a little bit longer, a little bit farther, but it is going to appear to float. And then built into the inside of that, we are going to have our hanging wire right there. Now on the other side of the street are our acrylic blocks. And I, sh let's hand. Oh, look at this. <clears throat> My hand's on break, 15 minutes. Hand gets 15 minutes every every four hours. Here we have an acrylic block. Now that is going to be made exactly the same way as the acrylic print. We're gonna have our styrene on the back. We're gonna have our glossy or metallic print, but on the front, one inch thick acrylic. So this bad boy wants to stand on its own, proudly on your desk or a shelf or a table. Now, uh, we have several different sizes, of course. We have our four by six, five by seven. We have our eight by eight. And then we also have a newly added eight by 10 size right here. And I believe this one has a metallic print in it, which is pretty sweet. These are awesome as they sit on the desk because as you walk past them, the light is gonna pull in and send it out 
a little bit differently. These are really cool. So if you want to hang something, go to the acrylic prints. By the way, you can even custom size an acrylic print. Just call us at customer service and let us know. You can even float frame an acrylic print. Same thing, just give us a call, we'll set you up. So if you want to hang something, go to the acrylic print. If you want something to stand beautifully on a desktop or table, go for the acrylic blocks. Thanks a lot for that question, Jane. Let's move on to our next one. Robot, please turn down the lights. Hey, Robert. I liked it better when your hair was longer. That, that's not even the question. Okay, our next question comes to us from Andrew in North Carolina. He says, hey, Robert, uh, I really like your frames, but I have questions about the gallery frames. I see gallery in many of the frame names. Could you break those down for me? Yes, Andrew, I absolutely can, and I will. Hey, robot, please turn up the lights. Thanks, robot. All right, let's talk about the gallery frames. There are four different variations of the gallery frames and they are in that family because they all have the same look and feel. They just uh, stand off the wall a little bit differently and have different molding widths. So when you're on the website and it says molding and a number, that refers to the distance across the face that you see. So we're gonna start with the gallery slim. The gallery slim is called that because this is the one frame that stands closer to the wall, okay? It's only gonna be about three quarters of an inch off the wall. So it has a nice tight and contemporary look on your wall. Across the face, we're gonna have one and a quarter inches across the face. So the thing to remember about the slim is that it's slim to the wall. Our next category is gonna be fine gallery fine and that confuses people. So the gallery slim, three quarters of an inch from the wall. And now let's talk about that gallery fine. The gallery fine refers to the face, the molding face. And this is going to be just three quarters of an inch. So that gallery, let's look at these uh, in contrast. So the slim is going to stand closer to the wall it's going to be an inch and a quarter across the front. Now, this fine is going to be an inch and a quarter from the wall, but only three quarters of an inch across the front. Okay, so that's the big difference between slim and fine. The next one is going to be the gallery wide. And here the gallery wide is, uh, it's probably the most popular of the gallery frames. So the gallery wide, is going to be an inch and a quarter from the wall. And just like the slim, it's going to be an inch and a quarter across the face. So the only difference between the slim and the wide is the slim sits closer to the wall. Okay, does that make sense? That's a gallery wide. And now we are going to move on to the gallery grand. Thank you, Hand. This big boy, the gallery brand, uh, grand is gonna come in black or white. The others come in black, white, and gray. So let's take a look at the dimensions of this. This is really an impressive kind of meaty piece. It has the same look and feel as everything in the gallery family, but this is going to sit two and a quarter inches off of the wall. And then across the face, the molding on the website, it'll say molding one and a half inches. So this is going to go one and a half inch across the face. So that's it. Remember the slim is gonna sit closer to the wall, inch and a quarter across the face, and then you're going to have uh, the fine, which is going to be an inch and a quarter off the wall, only three quarters of an inch across, then the gallery wide, inch and a quarter, inch and a quarter, finally the gallery grand, two and a quarter, inch and a uh, half across the face. Now remember, you can get custom sizes of these as well. Uh, we can frame almost any medium so don't let that hold you back. If you have any questions about uh, custom sizing, just give us a call and we'll hook you up. Okay, that was a great question. Thanks, Andrew. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Uh, robot, uh, please lower the lights. Thanks.
Okay. Awesome. This one is from Paul. This says, hey, I saw you guys on IGTV and YouTube live. I noticed that when you talked about cards, you said premium packaging was available. Could you talk a little bit, a little bit more about that and what that's used for? You bet I can, and I will. Robot, please turn up the lights. Thanks. Now there are four categories of premium packaging that you can add to many products. A premium packaging is just what it sounds like. It is an extra premium packaging inside of which a lot of products can be placed. Of course, that is going to be then packaged again safely to protect it before it is shipped either to you or you can drop ship it to your client. That's no problem. So we'll start out with uh, one real quick, uh, just one of them and thank you, Han. So what we have here is the craft box and the craft box actually has two sub options to go along with it. It can have the natural cloth ribbon and that would have the cream colored tissue paper inside of it. And not just cards, by the way, you can premium package uh, fine art prints, photo prints up to 11 by 14. You can do DVD, USB cases, they can be premium packaged. You can even premium package books and albums, so don't uh, worry about that. You're gonna find those in the final pop-up, the checkout pop-ups uh, in rows as you uh, finish that checkout process and you're gonna have radio buttons that you can choose which one you want. Remember that the craft is going to have two different options, the natural ribbon and the cream inside. And there's also one that has a black ribbon and a black tissue paper inside, okay? So that is, that's the craft. The next one we have here is the brown. Here's the brown with uh, the beautiful natural cloth ribbon. Uh, these bows are actually uh, tied by humans, not by machines, and they won't show you how to do it. I mean, they'll show you, but then you disappear mysteriously. So this brown is going to have the natural ribbon, and then it's gonna have that cream, uh, that cream tissue paper inside. And now we have one more option, and that is the charcoal. So the charcoal, beautiful box, that is going to be uh, surrounded by a gray cloth ribbon. Inside, there is going to be a light gray tissue paper to go along with that. So do consider the premium packaging uh, for, you, for your clients. It's really a nice touch uh, to present those things in. Keep in mind a couple of things. When you do order the premium packaging, generally speaking, the, the production team decides how much is needed for each uh, print. And if you are ordering, say, an 8x10, a 5x7, and a 4x6, there's generally just one premium box for the largest size. So you'd have an 8x10 box. Of course, each size then would be individually wrapped in its glassine sleeves inside that 8x10 box. If you do wallets and premium packaging, they'll kick out those wallets for you and they'll separate them and put them into a glassine box, which will sit on top of this a super nice presentation. Uh, so folks, I think that's it for our fireside chat, burning questions. My name is Robert. I want to thank you again for joining us. Feel free to drop your questions uh, to us uh, via Instagram at WHCC Pro or even uh, in the comments on this video. We really like seeing your questions and we really like answering them well. So for all of us here at the WHCC family, thanks for joining us. And remember two things. Number one, we're here for you. Number two, do something awesome today. Why not? Just do it. Thanks again. Take care. We'll see you soon. Hey, robot, turn down the lights. WHCC's Burning Questions. Thank you for joining White House Custom Color on YouTube. Make sure and check out the information below and click here to subscribe.